Sao Jia Lou is known as the Green Calling Mansion in English. It is located in Minghang District of Pujang County in Shanghai. Sao Jia Lou was the first area in Shanghai to reclaim wasteland and cultivate land. The culture of Sao Jia Lou was the origin of Shanghai's farming culture. So, hello guys.、Um, now I'm in front of this ancient town, which is called Sao Jia Lou Guzheng. This ancient town is quite interesting during the weekend because a lot of uh, uh, local uh, visitors or travelers、uh, will come here, and you will see like a、uh, uh, huge population human flow flooding to this place. But since today is Monday, and I don't see a lot of people, and、uh, maybe you don't see the hustling bustling of、uh, this place. Uh, let's check it out what kind of interesting buildings or interesting food around this area. The original village of Sao Jia Lou was formed in the early of Yuan Dynasty. Later, during the Ming Dynasty, the village was flourished by a government official, Gong Bu Yu Shilang, named Tan Lun. In Ming Dynasty, Gong Bu is today's a government ministry, manages housing, urban rural development, water resources, land resources, transportations, etc., and etc. Yu Shilang is a government official title of today's a member. Of center committee, a symbol of status and power. In order to encourage Tanren's father and other farmers in the village to work in the farmland for food producing and harvesting, Tanren ordered his oldest son Tan Tian to build a bell tower in the east part of the village called Peng Shuo Garden to call the village farmers to work in time. Since then, the bell rang in early morning, and the bell also alerted the villagers when weather changing. The bell tower was named Sao Jia Lou, which representing the farming culture rituals around this area. Walking in the old town Market Street, you will find various types of local foods in this area. The most famous foods are the lamb, named Sao Jia Lou lamb, and the chai tea, a kind of pork knuckle or front leg. The specialty of the lamb is the tendering texture of the juicy meat. The smell of the mutton is well done reduced. When you serve the lean meat with lamb fat, you don't feel the meat is greasy. Chinese love to serve it with the local wines or serve it with noodle soup. The pork knuckle chai tea is another popular delicious food, and the majority of the local Sao Jia Lou residents know how to make it. It is characterized by its red and brown color, sweet but not greasy. Its crispy fried skin is so tasty, and when people walk past by, you will be attracted by its fragrant smells. This guy is making his fried stinky tofu with some local specialty. The tofu is deeply fried to ensure the crispy outside and the softness inside. Then he put sesame and the cilantro and their homemade chili oil. He owns a quite good business there. All right, so now I'm getting to another, I think, homemade market or something.、Uh, 
I don't know how to call it, but it's like a different uh, camp set up by the local people and they call their home grow uh, vegetables or, or fruits or whatever it is. But if you are a foreigner, if you come to this place, you need a little bit skills of language because uh, uh, I think they are uh, speaking the local dialect, even not very good at Mandarin at this place. So, but uh, if you can speak Mandarin, 80% uh, of uh, the opportunity they, they can understand you, but uh, you still got a hard to uh, listen to what they are saying in Mandarin because uh, this, uh, this is a very localized place. And uh, basically this uh, uh, markets or tents are run by the, the, the grandmas and, and grandpa. I think the farmers around this area can always use this place to, to bring their uh, products and uh, have some kind of uh, income each month. And uh, you see, this guy is selling uh, fishes and uh, frogs and turtle. This is the so this is the eel, and uh, I think this is some kind of fish. And uh, this is the turtles. So these are very traditional Chinese turtles. Uh, we we do we do believe if you if you eat the turtles. That can make your body stronger because uh, turtle in China, which means like long, long, long longevity and uh, uh, long life. So eating a turtle can project that you can have a relative longer life than the others, which is superstitious for sure. Yeah, you can see this is uh, what the the local market look like. And, uh, uh, this is, these are the farmers around this area actually. They bring their home grown uh, stuff and they sell it here. It's just quite good actually. So let's find another place to, to, to explore. I spent half day in the ancient town. If you have never been to any old town in the Jiangnan area, which is the southern region of the Yangtze River, Shao Jia Lou is a place worthwhile to visit. The majority of the ancient architecture preserved in the town were constructed during the Ming and the Qing dynasty. These buildings are repaired in 2008 to develop the local tourism. From my viewpoint, if you have been other old town around Shanghai, such as Qibao, Xitang, or the others, you wouldn't find much unique difference belongs to this town, but it is still worthwhile to have a visit. I spent time exploring those little alleys apart from the main streets. Those residence neighborhoods have also some interesting parts that I found over there. All in all, Sao Jia Lo is a place full of interesting foods, snacks, and other interesting local handicrafts, souvenirs. Besides the food, it is a populated old town. Please be aware of it. The social distance isn't a thing in such areas, but you should not worry about the pocket pickers or individual safety, since it is a very safe place to visit. Many of the visitors are local old generations. If you do speak Mandarin, talking with the local shop owners to know their business and their life is a pretty interesting thing. Thanks for watching. China Uncle Mikey. See you in next video.